Chaos coming from the jail today. One active scene on Ringgold Street had some neighbors worried there might be an inmate in their backyard. Our Kayla Carlisle has more. Wanda Watkins and Deborah Parsons say they saw a shadow of a man up in the trees across the street from where they live. Once they called police, they say that shadow disappeared. I looked up over the apartment and I seen some shadow and I didn't know for sure, but it was like a dark shadow. It just went up. Just went by. Wanda Watkins and Deborah Parsons were sitting in the living room when they say they saw this dark shadow climb up the tree. Did that concern you? What were, what were your thoughts? Not really, but I just want the safety for the elderly people that live here. Uh huh. It scares me because I live here. <laughs> it was then that they decided to call police, but when police showed up, the man disappeared. They went back there and looked around. And they told, what did they tell you guys? Anything? No. no, they didn't say nothing yet. They just yet. came back and asked us which way did it go, and I just told them it went up the hill. Police told neighbors the shadow could have been one of a black bear, but neighbors say that isn't the case. I heard stuff about here about there's supposed to be a black bear, but then I heard again that there are two escaped convicts right behind my home up in the woods. I got my boy on the side, so I'm not worried too much about it. The Marshall County Jail has seen several problems arise in the recent months, problems that have other Gunnersville residents concerned. They also need to buckle it down and make it safer, make better lock proof on the jail where nobody can be escaped where they can come out and hurt someone else mm -hmm. or kill them or whatever, whatever they do. And they need to have more protection. Now, the guy in the trees was found. He was arrested on drug charges, but is under investigation for possibly aiding the escaped inmates. Putting the Valley first, I'm Kayla Carlisle, WZEX News. All right, thank you, Kayla.